still be hard to hold off for him because we do see nine units from uh, from our green player, but he needs to engage as soon as possible. He needs to outrange those cannons with that Colossus and jar just start pestering the pink player because once you're in a lead, if you do not, if you are behind, you need to start pestering your opponent. Otherwise, he's going to have a really easy time to macro up and just annoy you. And look at that Colossus. Big blunder by our green player in losing that Colossus for no good reason. We have his second Colossus just about to finish, but that was a huge hit on green, and this is going to be really hard for him to get back into this game. We have, we do have the, finally, pink player has his second expansion up. He does have uh, other gateways coming up now. He has way too many pylons at this time. Don't mind that much because he can, he is so far in the lead that not much is going to hurt him now. He is getting that second robotics facility. He does have his, does have his gateways up. He gets that twilight canceled, gets that charge upgrade. He can continuously get Colossi on top of a whole bunch of zealots and to just soak up the damage at the front. We have another push coming by Green. He needs to make something happen. He needs something to be successful. Either that, or I actually suggest he just goes heads and takes two expansions and just plays defense up until uh, up until there's an engagement by Pink. Or um, maybe he might allow him to uh, macro up as uh, pink macros up because that seems to be a, a common mistake among people who are ahead. They don't keep pressing their lead. They don't continue to keep on expanding. They don't continue to do things like pressing their army advantage, pushing forward, and then retreating, j just seeing what they can get away with. And that's a problem that both sides seem to have either in the lead or behind. We see that weapons upgrade level one is coming down for green, which I think is a, a magnificent choice by green because when you're behind you got your only option to get back into the game is usually with the tech option you know you're ahead in and to allow yourself to get uh and allow yourself your units to be more effective we do see two colossi coming up, up. they don't have that thermal lance yet that's going to extremely hurt them quite a bit and from green we do see a stargate going down and this stargate will be very potent especially in a pvp because we have been seeing lately in pvp that Colossus and Void Rays are actually quite impossible to counter, especially when they get into those higher numbers. And we do see this Colossus outranging this cannon, and it's also going to outrange uh, his other Colossus. So if he can kite them just perfectly, he should be fine. But no, he is going to engage this, still targeting the cannon. Another blunder by Green, losing that Colossus. It is hurting him quite a bit, but he has these two Immortals. He could engage this, but it... But with the counterattack by Pink, it might be devastating. Once again to Green, and he is backing up. Another blunder by, by Green. Might lose these Immortals there in the front. He needs to have the Stalkers in the front to soak up the damage. Allow the Immortals to do their work. And know the Immortals are going down. And the two Colossus survive from our Pink player. Thermal Lance coming down from Pink right about now. And Weapons Upgrade coming up. If he had waited for that engagement, if he had ran away for the right time and waited for the right time to engage as soon as those uh, plus one upgrades upgrades stopped i think he would have been in a much better position and we do see a fleet beacon going down this is quite odd this is a one base play he is starting to run out of minerals he has stopped production of probes altogether. so this isn't good for green at this point he is all in even with getting this nexus if he doesn't start uh, making more probes our, our green player is now in an all-in strategy, and that's not a good place to be because normally what happens in all-in strategy, if you don't get something done, you are going to lose. And we do see cannons finally going up because he is worried about any, any uh, behind pressure, which this is about the time that you want to be looking for delayed DTs because delayed T DTs, as you know, hurts so many players it gets pe so many people back in the game simply because people forget about that mid-game detection we don't have a push from pink quite yet 
actually is taking his third expansion. I actually think Pink is playing this game very, very smartly. He's going ahead and saying, you know what? You keep on attacking me. You keep on trying to get back in this game. You keep on sacrificing your entire army to me without me losing too much. So I'm going to go ahead and keep pressing my advantage. Go ahead and get another Nexus and make sure that I stay in the lead. And I think this is a great choice by him by not playing it too aggressively and going ahead and allowing him himself to go ahead and continue to macro macro up as our green player stays behind in the food count. As we do see in the food count, our our green player is at 32 food to 99. That is a huge deficit. And with this push, I think this is going might be game ending. I do not see how the green player could stay in this unless he pulls off some miraculous micro management and even then it might be quite hard we do see that that the gas is very high and the money is getting quite high i think we might see an attempt at making the mothership but no here comes the engagement we might see a gg very soon we don't see any attacking units from the peak player and there's a gg